Hello everyone, my name is Hubert and welcome to Teach Me channel. Today we'll be looking at GCSE Maths Speed, Pressure and Density. So now this is a, should hopefully be a bit quicker video where we'll just look at some major equations relating to speed, pressure and density and I will briefly show you how to use them and more importantly how to determine units. So without further ado, let's get started. So now speed is essentially how fast something is going and it is determined by following equation. Speed is equal to distance over time, which makes sense. For example, if you say pass uh, two kilometers in an hour, you're going at speed of two kilometers per hour. So that makes sense. And also the important thing to consider here, guys, is that you can rearrange these equations any way you want using the basic algebra rules whereby if you do the same thing to this side of an equation whilst also doing the same thing to this side of an equation over here you will keep the equation functional it will work so if i want to say find out uh, time that it took what i would do is first i would multiply this side and this side by time so here we would have distance and here we would have speed times time and then i would divide both sides by speed so here we would have time equals to distance divided by speed so that's how we can easily uh, rearrange these equations to find out the parts that we actually want because you won't always be asked about speed sometimes you'll be asked about distance sometimes you'll be asked about time and the same goes for these two guys so that's how you can easily rearrange these equations now you can use um, the uh, triangles what they call the formula triangles but I prefer to just use the basic algebra method because that means you don't have to remember which way exactly the triangles weigh. You don't need to memorize them. You just need to memorize these formulas and you're ready to go, guys. So that's for speed. What about density? Density is a measure of how much mass we have in a certain volume. For example, lead is very dense because very little of lead is very heavy. That's the age-old question of what's heavier, one kilogram of feathers or one kilogram of lead. Now, obviously, the answer is that they are both the same. The mass is the same. However, one kilogram of feathers would be like a big bag of feathers, whereas one kilogram of lead would be like a little small bar. So that's because lead has higher density compared to feathers. And that's the equation that governs density. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. And that makes sense because that's essentially what we are measuring. How heavy something is in relation to how big something is. So that's density. Again, you can rearrange it uh, the way you want it to find certain com components of it. And the final equation that we'll be looking at today is pressure. Pressure is the force exerted on an area. So if you think about uh, like a cylinder or something uh, that's uh, pumped full of air, then the pressure will be high. They are often called high pressure cylinders. And that is because the air inside the cylinder is really pushing on the side of a container. So it is exerting force on the area being the side of a container. So this equation again represents the definition of pressure. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. And again, you can rearrange this exactly the way you want to. So that's pretty much it in terms of uh, the equations and explanations. Now, the final thing I want to show you is actually about the units. What units are we expressing these measures in? What units will be using? Well, that is purely dependent on what units you are calculating distance in what units you are calculating time in, what units for mass volume, you get the picture. So the units for speed, density and pressure will depend on the units you are using to calculate the components of these. So here's an example to show you exactly what I mean. So for example, object travels 9 centimeters over 3 seconds. What is its speed? So here we have speed is equal to distance divided by time. This is distance, 
this is time. So speed is equal to speed is equal to distance nine centimeters divided by time, which is three seconds. So the speed is equal to it is equal to three. However, what units are we using? Well, for distance we used centimeters and for time we used seconds. So those are the units we have to use. We divided centimeters by seconds. So that is three centimeters per second. And that's how you use units. That's how you determine units in these types of equations. It is purely dependent on what units you are working with. So, of course, sometimes you might have to convert this. Sometimes you would have to convert this uh, because the question asks you to express your answer in kilometers per hour, for example. And in this case, you would have to convert this. So for that, you might want to check out the video I made on unit conversions recently. But that's essentially all there is to the basics of speed, pressure and density in terms of GCSE maths. So thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate when you guys watch my videos. This is why I absolutely love doing what I'm doing. And if you want to stay up to date on some more GCSE maths, physics, uh, chemistry and biology videos, as well as some university level biomedical science videos, don't be shy, hit that subscribe button below. And if you think this video helped you, give me a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.